Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in this video, I want to share with you my personal legendary marketer affiliate funnel which is built on System.io. Now, I'm going to show you not only how to get this funnel for free, I've also got a bonus funnel as well as I'm going to show you how to set it up. So it's a pretty cool video. I know it's going to help a lot of people because one of the reasons I am doing this is I see a lot of people wanting to get into affiliate marketing. They find legendary marketer which is an incredible program if you haven't yet tested it out I've also got a link in the description for that but they do recommend that you get started with click funnels which is around I think hundred and forty seven dollars per month and then they also recommend getting started with Aweber which is an additional cost again and that's usually a roadblock for a lot of people whereas if you use system and use the funnel that I'm going to provide with you today you don't actually have to pay anything up front you can set up your own affiliate funnel and you can start seeing success now this video was actually inspired as I went to the legendary marketer Facebook group the other day and I saw some lady asking about system if anyone's used it if anyone's had success and this guy here Mike Fish appreciate you Mike Fish you actually said check out funnel scene on YouTube for videos and I have to admit I'm very stoked that you shouted me out there Mike I really appreciate the help in growing this channel so let's go ahead and get started let me show you what these funnels look like so the first one is this two-step funnel here which is actually my go-to I've used this one for years and it's helped me generate over five figures in income and this is the first step this is perfect for if you don't have a lead magnet like an ebook or a, a, some sort of training or something bonus like that you can simply use this particular funnel and it's going to help convert your leads so this is talking about my number one recommendation for building an income online income sorry in 2023 and beyond so it's very straightforward and it's got here a few little prompts to fill out so it's pretty simple and pretty easy to do there's also a pop-up which you can customize if you want however everything is pretty much optimized you just need to pretty much put your name in and it's good to go so that's the first step the second step is here you can see there is a system placeholder video this is because you will need to create your own bridge video which if you have gone through the challenge you will know how to do anyway so that's there ready to go and here is a little bit of a story about my actual journey with affiliate marketing so you can come inside here put something that's relative to people probably watching this video and then the rest is all about the challenge as well so that's all good to go simply throw in your affiliate links and the funnel is done so that's the first one this is going to be the second one which I actually created just a few days ago and all I did was I went on the leaderboard of uh, Legendary Marketer and I saw at the moment who was ranking number one for sales and I found a girl's um, funnel basically. I'm not going to say who it is. I've modified all the words and everything like that. But what I did was I recreated the entire funnel. It's just a two-step funnel so it wasn't too hard. But this one is more catered for if you have an ebook. So if you've got an ebook ready to go, then you can easily use the second funnel. It's probably going to convert higher than the first one because you're also giving them some bonus value. However, it's here if you want it. And then this is the first page, put in their name and email, and then you'll come to the second step, which is once again full of information. Now, I've just created an avatar called Fuego. This is just some stock imagery. So obviously, you would come inside here and just adjust it for your own picture, your own name, and once again, your bridge video. And then all you need to do is your affiliate links. So let's go ahead and set up these particular funnels so you know exactly how to use them. So what I'm going to do first of all is come back and duplicate these funnels. Okay, so this has now been duplicated as you can see here, it's a copy. What you'll first want to do is if you have added your own custom domains to system, you want to go ahead and select the domain you want to use. And to do that, simply come to funnel settings and inside funnel domains, this is where you can choose the domain that you want to use. So what I'm going to do for this one is actually just leave it with this default system one as I've already got my other funnels using those specific URLs. So I'm going to go ahead, click save. And now what we want to do is create a URL for this particular page. So so at the moment it's affiliate training one, two, three, and then it's got a long string. So what we can do, we can go inside here and just say something like free training reveals, okay? Something simple, you can make it shorter if you want. You could even just say forward slash training. I've got a lot of funnels inside of here, so I've got to make the URL slightly longer. 
So go ahead and click on the save button, the little green one. And now this is going to be our link for our funnel, this one here. So if I go to a new tab, paste it in, right, you can see here, this is the funnel, super easy to do. So what we're gonna do next is, where are we here? Is click on this little edit page tab and it's going to take us to the funnel editor. So it says here, my name is, so you can go ahead and change that. So I'd put something like Phil Wilson, make it a little bit more prettier. And um, you can even leave majority of this text. It's, it's actually pretty good. All you wanna do now is find an image of yourself because if you add a personal element to this, it's going to be more trustworthy to your audience and your visitors and they're most likely going to convert versus not having a real person inside of it. So I could put inside here, Phil Wilson, right? I'll just pause this video and find a quick image. All right, so that is done. So all you need to do to change it, I probably should have mentioned it, is click on the image, click on this little cloud button, okay? And it's going to bring up this box and then you can just search on select file inside of your computer or if you've already uploaded some images, it's just here in your images. So once that's done, you can uh, pretty much leave this page. It's almost good to go. Just at the bottom, go ahead and change your brand to what your brand actually is. So for this, I could just put funnel scene. And if you have your own privacy policy, terms and conditions, make sure you add those in as well. Uh, I'll leave it for uh, blank for this particular one. Actually, no, I'll put it in just to show you. So highlight the text, click on the link, and then type in where your privacy policy is. Okay, funnelscene.com forward slash privacy policy okay and i do see some people actually linking to legendary marketers privacy policy in terms and conditions i don't believe that's right but um if they do mention it somewhere which i haven't seen inside of the training then you can go ahead and do that too okay terms and conditions click on save Okay, that is done. Now go ahead, click on save changes. You can also check out the mobile view if you want, but it's all pretty good to go. Um, it's gonna be slightly different to that, but it looks good. Okay, so we'll go ahead, click on the exit button. Um, one thing to check is with the buttons, if you click on pop up and you click on this uh, number one pop up, the I, just make sure it says send form. Every time you get the funnel, it should be exactly the same, but just in case, make sure it says send form and to the next step, okay? So we'll go ahead, we'll exit. Next is the bridge page, okay? And we wanna once again change the URL. So this could be um, free training released, something like that. So uh, it doesn't necessarily matter, matter the bridge page because you're not gonna be um, directly sending people here except for in your emails so that the URL can be slightly longer. So go ahead, click on save, and then once again, go to edit. Okay, and inside here, this is where you're going to add some additional information, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have a bridge video ready. Once again, if you haven't yet done it, make sure you go through the 15 day business builder challenge to actually learn about bridge videos. So once you've done that, come to the video section and see we have here direct link. So if you wanna embed something like a YouTube video, this is where you're going to add it. If you wanna upload a file, so if you've shot a video, it's on your computer and it's ready to be uploaded, you can also directly upload it. It's a really good method doing it inside of a system. Uh, for this example though, I'm going to leave it as my YouTube video. So here it is here. I actually shot this quite a few years ago, so it's, um, it's pretty interesting seeing that again. But that's all you have to do in terms of that and simply come down and edit this part of text. Now this is actually my story so I don't need to edit it. But what you wanna do is have roughly the same amount of text to fill up this space, okay? And then once we've done that, once we've put in the video, once we've changed the text, all we really need to do to complete this funnel is go ahead and get our legendary marketer affiliate link. So I've gone ahead, got the business challenge light theme. I've also put in here some tracking tags, just click on copy and then come back to the editor. All right, click on the button here and highlight that text and press paste. Now it is my exact funnel, so it may have an affiliate link inside of it, so make sure you change it with your one. Once again, highlight that, backspace it, and paste in the new one, okay? And then go ahead, click on save, and guess what? You've already imported and customized the funnel. It is actually ready to go. So let's go ahead and have a look what it looks like. 
All right, I'll just close this little preview window. So this is it, my video is here, I've got my story. Once again, it's gonna take you probably another 10 minutes or five minutes to rewrite this in your own story. But you've got some embedded videos which are used in another high converting funnel. And you've also got your affiliate links which are good to go. So that's pretty cool. We've gone ahead, we've already added an affiliate, uh, sorry, a legendary marketer affiliate funnel to system. Now the final steps we need to do inside of this is come back out of it, right? So we've got our landing page, we've got our bridge page. What we wanna do now is actually collect the emails and send out an email each time someone opts in. So there's a few different ways we can do this. What I recommend you do first is come to contacts and then come down to tags. Now we're gonna create a little automation here. So when we go ahead and send out some emails, it's connected to the right group of people. Now over time, your business will flourish and you can start understanding more about this, but it's really good to have it in place right from the beginning. So once you're inside of contacts and tags, click on create and then choose a tag. What I'm gonna do is just call this, I'll just actually call this LM Leads, right? So Legendary Marketer Leads, it's short and sweet. So click LM Leads. Tag has been successfully created, which is perfect. Now we'll come back to funnels again. Now we'll come back to the funnel that we're working on, which is this one here. I'm using the original, not number two. And what we wanna do is come now to Automation Rules, okay? And click Add Rule and then click on funnel step form subscribe. So every time someone fills out the funnel form and what we wanna do is click add action and we wanna click add a tag. Now what this is going to do once again is categorize all of the people coming into your funnel so that we know they've come from this particular one funnel opt-in. So click on choose tag. I'm just gonna type in LM because I've got a load of them inside of here and click save rule. Okay, so that's the first step. Every time someone comes in, they now get tagged. But we also want to send them an email, okay? So what we can do is, there's a few different ways of doing this. If you just wanna send one email, if you just wanna set something up right now, what we can do is we can create the first email of a campaign, and then later on we can actually add to them, okay? So let's come to emails, let's go to campaigns. And this is where we're going to start a brand new campaign for this particular type of funnel. So come to the top right, click on create, and what we're going to do is just call this M LM Leads, okay? Same thing again, keep it all congruent. Now you can put inside the description, Leads for Legendary Marketer. This is just in case you forget what LM means, but click on save, right? And now we've got here LM Leads. So go ahead, click on LM Leads, and now we can create our first email. So at the right, click on add an email, right? It's going to say send a name. You want your name, your email address, and you wanna have a subject here. And what we're going to say is um, congratulations. Oh, I'll just be like, uh, I'll just put congratulations for now. What we actually can do is edit the subject line once we're inside of it. Now it's going to say, what do you wanna use as a template? These are just two very basic templates you can have, which is a boxed one, or just a standard black and white. And we've also got a classic editor if you like. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just use the blank background visual editor for now, and click on create. In a few seconds, the editor will load like so. And what I generally like to do is just delete everything. It's pretty interesting how they don't have a blank slate one to start with, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. Um, they've probably found people get better results if they have something there. So what we're gonna do now is drag in some text from the left, like so. As you can see, it's very big. So I'm gonna click on, first of all, a line left, and then I'm gonna click on this uh, font and bring it down to about 16, okay? So it looks a lot different than what it did. And uh, let's see what these line heights do. Nothing too interesting, so that's fine. And the last thing we can do is select a font, and I like to use Verdana. It looks just a little bit more handwritten, um, which I believe, so it's nice and easy. Okay, so let's start the email. Now the reason I'm not giving you an email template is if I did, everyone would use it, and the problem with that is Google and all of the mail apps will start seeing that, hey, there's a lot of people sending this exact text, this is a spam email, and then they'll flag all of them and no one will ever see it. So you need to be unique when you're actually creating your emails. So the first thing you wanna do is say, hey, hi, 
um, hello, things like that. And then what you want to do is click on choose a replacement and choose first name. And this is going to automatically replace their first name inside of that field. So it could send a thousand emails and they would all have different names. And then down below you would say, um, it's exciting that you're wanting to learn more about my favorite income method for 2023. In fact, it's one that I see a lot of new people trying out and getting massive success with. Did you oh, do two spaces? Did you check out the additional video I shot? If not, come and have, or oh, if not, go and have a quick watch. Now it'll explain everything you need to know. Um, excited to see what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, Phil. Okay, and then what we want to do, just a simple ha uh, like uh, email that you're almost writing to a friend, right? This is just something short and sweet. Longer is not always better. So something simple and sweet. And then what we want to do is go to our bridge page, right? We want to copy this link, okay? Come back to the email and then we want to paste it in and put it in a link where it uh, on, on top of some text where it makes sense right did you check out the additional video if not go and have a quick watch now so go and have a quick watch now it's like an action so click save there you can even make it blue if you want to make it look like a link I know a lot of people um, want to see blue if they want to click on it okay like so and that's pretty much it super easy to do you can see it's asking me to change a bit of spelling here and there that's absolutely fine I'll just um do what it says, click on save, okay, and then click on exit. So now we have completed our first, um, we've completed our first email of the sequence. I'll go ahead, click save and publish, All right? And I want to send this like just one minute after someone subscribes to it. The reason I want to send it one minute after is I want people to watch my video first. So a lot of the time they'll get to the page, they'll be looking at the email, waiting for the email to arrive. It won't come in about 10 to 20 seconds. That's when they'll direct their attention back on the page that they landed on. They're still gonna get it, but it's going to take about a minute, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, click on publish. Okay, and now this is done, right? We've got our first email of the sequence. Now, I highly recommend you fill this out over time, but for now, let's just complete the funnel and you can start adding more emails afterwards. So let's go back to funnels one last time. Okay, let's go back to our funnel we were editing. Let's go to automation rules. Let's click on funnel step form subscribed and let's click on add action one more time and click on subscribe to campaign. Go ahead, choose LM leads right and then click save rule and there you go your entire funnel has been created and automated it's ready to rock and roll now all you'll need to do is go ahead start driving some traffic to that particular link that you've added once again if you want to add your own custom domain if you are stuck on the step two i have also got a training inside of my video playlist for system.io tutorials there is everything you need to know about system inside of there that's going to show you how to add custom domains uh, it's a really simple process it takes about 10 to 15 minutes max and then you can create your own good looking url and link for your landing page so that is the process that is the first funnel done the same the same process actually happens for the second one as well the first page the landing page all you need to really do is change the image i've rewritten this text so none of it is exactly the same and then once again inside of the bridge page add in your video change the image change the story and then add in your affiliate links and then that entire funnel is good to go as well once again this is more for an ebook as it's saying you will get a free ebook anyway that's it guys hopefully this video has helped if you are a, a legendary marketer affiliate and you have been using click funnels in aweber and you want something a bit cheaper system.io is absolutely incredible it is going to do the job extremely well for you so make sure you go ahead and check that out if you are new to system.io 
system.io you haven't joined yet i've also got a free course on how to use system.io that i give away um, you can learn more about that in the description i also sell the course if you're already a system member uh, once again more info about that down below and if you are an affiliate marketer, you're looking to crush affiliate sales, not just with the legendary marketer, but pretty much anything online. I have got a free four part affiliate training series, which I'll link to in the description. Go ahead and check that out. It's a very powerful four part training. If you complete it, no doubt you'll be so far ahead of where you were before you took it. And no doubt you'll start getting on that road to making ongoing commissions. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Once again, if it's your first time, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.